As we come on the air, Sri Lanka is now a nation under the control of the IMF. You control the economy, you control the country. The growth, the path, the way forward, well, now it's determined, analyzed and executed by people living thousands of miles away. But despite that, the president of our country believes that the IMF is the way. IMF is the way. අපට මාවතක් විවෘත වී තියෙනවා අපේ මාතෘභූමිය යලිත් ඔසවාත බන්ට අවකාශ උදා වී තියෙනවා මේ ණය පහසුකම් යටතේ වසර 4ක කාලයක් තුල අපට ඇමරිකානු ඩොලර් බිලියන 3ක පමණ ආධාරයක් හිමි වෙනවා ඇමරිකානු ඩොලර් මිලියන 330ක ප්‍රමාණයක් එහි පළමු වාරිකය වශයෙන් දැන් අපට ලැබී තියෙනවා ලෝක බැංකුව සහ වෙනත් ණය ආධාර ලබා දෙන පාර්ශ්වයන් වෙතින් තවත් ඩොලර් බිලියන when the IMF bailout package was approved and announced, the Tamasha displayed in Sri Lanka by many, especially in places like Ratnapura and in front of Sirikuta made me think, hang on, did I get it wrong? Is the IMF really good now? Am I professing something wrong to the nation every week? It didn't take long for me to come down to earth and realize that the truth that I have been telling you week after week. What you all celebrated, especially the Kalamu liberals, the ones who said they are the IMF is the way, the ones who claim to be think tanks and yet have no ability to think anything else other than what is crafted in the West. What they all celebrated was Sri Lanka getting another loan. This time, perhaps, the worst type of loans you can get because it's not just about getting the loan to, our, to solve our problems, but it's a loan that makes you sell your soul. Weren't these the same buffoons who were talking about Chinese loans and how they destroyed Sri Lanka? Seeing how they changed the narrative to benefit their broken argument is baffling. One of the key things the liberal economic pundits in Colombo have been saying while they made the case that Sri Lanka should go to the IMF is that it will create investor confidence. Tell me honestly, how on earth are you going to create any confidence after defaulting and by taking a loan? Forget about a country. If you know someone who's taking a loan after loan, do you think you would have any confidence in their financial abilities? Who are these liberal clowns trying to fool? It would have made sense about 20 years back because the world was a very different place back then. It surely does not now. If we are to ever create confidence in the rest of the world, let alone investors, all of us have to get back to work and we should transform this nation from an importing dependency to an exporting one and make headway in making new money. Listen, there are things we need to do to put our house in order. By no means I'm saying that our governing structure is perfect. It's the opposite. We have to get rid of corruption. We have to create a system that works for the people. We have to hold our leaders accountable. And we have to find a mechanism to have an industrialized economy to ensure that we earn a lot and not spend a lot. But all that should be done with us Sri Lankans being in the driving seat. The problem is that once the whole IMF program goes uh, sour, mainly because people in the middle income category cannot bear the newly suggested proposals that the IMF want uh, the government to implement, mainly because they don't understand the cultural context of Sri Lanka, that moment you don't ever think that you can hold the IMF accountable. You and I cannot vote them off power you and I cannot go to courts and say that the IMF ruined our lives. The sad story is that is where our government has pushed us and is telling us to believe in the atrocious plan that will kill the middle income class and especially the SMEs which are the backbone of our country. The ones who will benefit will be the conglomerates and the big shot companies in Sri Lanka along with those empty headed think tanks. Which makes me to wonder why they were making the biggest ruckus, forcing us to believe in the organization that will only benefit the top 1% and will kill the rest of the 99%. We will be here to expose when it happens and at least in my capacity to hold them accountable. 
We'll be right back.